have a, a one or two minor cases that they respond to medication very well. So we just uh, uh, leave them there. So just don't touch them. Um, but for for typical uh, cases um, for for the infants, yeah, uh, it is really uh, very very difficult. So uh, in my early uh, um, um, uh, time to measure those patients, uh, we use uh, the dopamine uh, agonist and also uh, other medication. Um, I, I will say for the most severe cases, uh, uh, we saw more complication from the medication rather than efficacy from from the medication. Yeah, so so it's a. Uh, I, you, you see the nausea induced by those agents, and this is also uh, um, uh, very difficult. But, but certainly, uh, uh, recently we used the, the um, uh, a patch that from Parkinson's disease, we call this new pro patch. Uh, we think that, that uh, medication uh, uh, is uh, very easy. Uh, the same uh, efficacy uh, as the other uh, oral medication, but it is it's much much easy. Um, so, so uh, we make diagnosis, but uh, the the treatment, uh, the the gene therapy, uh, actually is because of uh, the the surgery that we cannot do that in very young. So. The, the youngest uh, uh, patient uh, we can do is like uh, 18 months. Uh, so for everyone that uh, we discover before 18 months, for, for example, uh, those are several children that uh, we uh, discover at birth. Uh, so we need to carry them on for uh, one half and uh, two years. Uh, uh, so, so during that period, uh, that is that's a very difficult period. Um, but then, then we got a chance to observe the, uh, the real clinical causes of uh, those uh, very severely affected patients. Actually, uh, many of them, they are born as, as a normal infant. Yeah. So um, as a young infant, especially uh, before three months of uh, age, uh, they, they just look normal, feed normal, and not much uh, special uh, symptom signs, and then, uh, after that, uh, around a few months of age, then you uh, saw those uh, abnormal movements and feeding can be uh, more difficult. And then this OGC uh, tried to uh, uh, appear just as just uh, 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 gradually. Yeah. Um, so uh, those symptoms that will have become very prominent uh, around one year of age, and we, we will try to uh, manage those patients uh, with uh, uh, medication, just as mentioned, just uh, currently we use a new pro patch. We may give uh, some of the uh, vitamin B6 uh, for folinic acid, for example. Uh, we try to help the feeding of those patients, uh, try to keep uh, their weight. Um, uh, so we, we, we really have got um, a period of time, at least a few months, that we can try uh, everything to help uh, uh, those children. Uh, then uh, when they reach the age that uh, we can perform gene therapy, uh, it's very clear that uh, if it is necessary uh, to uh, do uh, such an a still novel and invasive uh, uh, procedures. Yeah. Um, so uh, as I, I said, I will have one patient that uh, we treat with this protocol and then uh, he became uh, very well. I went to normal school and then we will just uh, skip those patients. Uh, we will uh, focus um, uh, on more uh, serious affected patients. Um, but, but certainly um, the, the gene therapy is not a really a cure, uh, but it's just effectively uh, um, uh, improve the symptom. And then, then after gene therapy, we, we start dopamine, then uh, there is a, a very long way of rehabilitation um, that uh, uh, will be necessary uh, for their treatment.